I've been texting back and forth with the new owners of my old homestead and it worked out for me to come over today to see the place. I'm just a little bit early. So I came down here and I'm just checking out the forest paths behind the place. It's a little bit more overgrown. But still basically looks the same. Oh, the kale is doing wonderful. Look yeah. at this, look at this. That looks yeah. great. My kale's doing great. I don't eat the kale, Beth eats the kale. Um, beets. Tomatoes. Some of the tomatoes. Yeah. Um, there's a bunch inside because we picked a bunch. A late sowing of corn, but oh. it's come in. Really you know, this Wendy. Was a, this was a start, the rest were seeds. Wendy's, that was a start. Wendy's gonna be jealous. She was never able to get corn to grow. Ah, okay. A late sowing of cucumbers. Yeah. Um, yeah, our second sowing of spinach, a late sowing of watermelon. Nice. We're gonna, okay. Some of it, we're just going to see what happens. Um, I don't, that's something, I don't know. Uh, this is all... Tomatillo, just, or what is that? We didn't plant this. Okay. So we're just seeing, I think it might be, they're like gooseberries or something. Okay. Like There's a nice little tomato plant that's popped up. Yeah. We also didn't yeah. plant him. Um, these were our microgreens. Mm -hmm. Um, more microgreens. Um... Different snap peas, a second sowing of carrots, mm -hmm. potatoes, which we've already harvested a bunch of. Good. There's a second sowing in there. Um, we have a couple little peppers. All my peppers and tomatoes that are out here are ones that I got as starts and then like didn't have time, didn't have time, and eventually like I hadn't gotten the greenhouse ready yet. And so I just threw them out here because I was like, they yeah. might not work, but they've all been working. Aren't these the most gorgeous flowers when they're you know in their in their prime they are they um got they were ready while we were out of town and nobody like my the people the person who was checking on the garden didn't yeah. pick them yeah. so we lost them um so we just let them go mm -hmm. uh squash and zucchini 
and raspberries and strawberries. Ah, good. Um, the blueberries. Looks like your strawberries are growing strong. Oh, You've got yeah. a lot of flowers on there still, too. Yeah. We have a couple. We have hood and, like, seascape. So one, they are two different types of strawberries as far as, like, Wow, they, this has really you know? been thinned out here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We still thin, alive. Oh, yeah. It's doing great. We thinned it out a whole bunch. It was growing and uh the bottom parts were struggling and like breaking off so yeah yeah we thin it out so we could focus on the top you know originally there was another one of these right on the other side of this bed ah. but uh it was dying so we we got rid of it too so um we didn't plant anything in these we didn't get around to it this year yep um well we asparagus did... will take a while to establish anyways yeah. so and there was a bunch of asparagus that kept popping up so um and then the green oh, you're using this space too. Um, I don't even like tomatoes that much, and I have like 16 different tomato plants. <laughs> yeah, we're on inundated with tomatoes at our place too. Uh, these are spoon tomatoes, so they're like pea-sized. Nice. They're adorable. The problem was every time I went to the store, I'd see another plant, and I was like, oh, it's adorable. Gotta try that. Gotta try that one. Um, my room was coming in. I'm re these ones I grew from seed. So I was really excited about yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. And then some full size. Most of them are smaller. Um, oh, you got a nice little pepper down there. Yeah, there's a green pepper back here and a couple new ones starting and a little orange. And then we just picked this purple one the other day. So those will be like really dark. And then again, I didn't plant this or this little guy back here. So those came back. So we'll just see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need this, like, there's a bunch of stuff that we're like, mm, we don't know what that is, we'll just see what happens. Boy, the, the pine cones do get out of control out here, don't they? Um, there is a squirrel who likes to sit in the tree and throw them at the greenhouse, <laughs> and you can hear it from inside the house. Yeah, let's see how many blueberries. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a blueberry because I miss our blueberries. It's been delicious. Yeah, look at these blueberries. I mean, blueberries as thick as you can imagine. The birds have eaten them when they were on my watch, but they never eat all of them. They ne never eat enough of them. So many. Um, we have a couple grapes that we started. Oh. Right there, and then one over there. So okay. Okay. Those will probably take a while. A couple of years, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. There's we got excited every time we are at one of the farm stores, so. And then the apple, the apple tree, in. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you've got them up there. Yeah. That's good to see. We're a bunch down here, and the deer came and knocked them all off, and we're eating Yeah, them. yeah. Uh, there's a couple little pears over there. So, yeah. Oh, let's see the pears. You know, I don't think okay. we ever got very many. There was at least one. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, there's a couple more right up there. And up there. This is really taken off. I mean, this tree was was not that established. Yeah. They're doing good. I know that one's like, you can see the apples up there turning red. Yep. I don't think I've seen any on this one yet. Um, but yeah. All right. So, hopefully... These are delicious apples, by the way. Ah. Yes. We're trying Honey to... Crisp. Are they honey crisp? Yep. Yep. Um, we're holding off on getting any other critters for another like year or two. Yeah. Um, you got dogs. I mean, that's, got dogs. that's keeping your hands full for the yeah. moment. But um, at some point, we'll put like the Mini Cooper to use. Okay, a little bit more of a space. And um, I'm gonna level out the dirt, and we're gonna have um, like a little patio set in here, and so okay. we have a little moon garden. Nice. Um, at some point. Yeah. But, like all of the lilies will be black lilies. Like how lilies kind of died. Okay. Um, then we have like mystic dahlias, vampire dahlias, these little angel wings. These are so cute. They're like felted. Yeah, look at that. Different texture. Yeah. So, oh, fun. yep. It's easy to whack back things that are getting in your way. Mm -hmm. They were hitting me in the head yep. while I was planting. So, yeah. No matter how much you trim, there's always going to be more to trim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So, Good place for herbs. Chamomile, lemon thyme, lemon geranium, lemon uh, pineapple sage. Mm. 
parsley, cilantro, basil, thyme. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lemon thyme over there. And then I got a little crazy with the mint. I have six different kinds of mint. I don't know why. Yeah. They were all adorable. Dill and then two different rosemaries. And then we have rosemary and lavender planted at, like, the gates for the okay. goat pen. Because yeah. we use it as a dog run. And... We had so many, like, fire ants oh. crawling all over it. Okay. And so we planted rosemary and lavender, and the ants don't like it. And they all disappeared. Nice. So. Nice. And then, so yeah, they're turning into, like, yeah. big bushes. And Did your right. clematis uh, bloom at all for it you did. this year? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, we'll see. Yep. Yeah, yep. it bloomed a whole bunch. It was nice. And um, I think the... Oh, this you're getting is, ready for a new project. This will be one of the next projects. Yeah, brought all of those. We're still deciding. I think we were just talking yesterday about putting some um, kind of like hook sand things in there and having them up above. Okay, like that. Uh, yeah. yeah, like up above the uh, bush here. Sure. Um, these. I just. I don't know if I told you this before. These uh, Japanese maples. Mm -hmm. Have been tortured, tortured under our custodianship, because trees had fallen on them and they were left with nothing but little sticks sticking out of the ground with no leaves, and yet they came back. Maples are amazing that way; okay. they are survivors. We had a wonderful surprise of the mm. bleeding hearts. Yes, the bleeding hearts are always beautiful always. there. I, and then we saw a couple more. Spring is a wonderful time uh, to see the surprises so that come up. I'm so excited. Beth has never been able to get bleeding hearts to grow, and she loves them. They've been there for a couple of years, so they were probably even bigger for you guys. They were beautiful. And then there were, down the way, there were all these, what were they called? They were called like fairy bells or something. Okay. Um, they're like these little white flowers, and they look like little fairy skirts or yeah. something. They were adorable. They're all over. Um, well, it's interesting to see what you've done a little different. You've cut back a little bit on this mm -hmm. rhododendron. That opens it up a little. That's that's good. Mm -hmm. We haven't done anything with this yet. Yeah. We have different thoughts and ideas. The girls. The chickens. You've got some good shavings in there for them. I can tell a good chunk of them apart. <laughs> that's better than I could. Uh, I always had a few that I would name, but the rooster not all of them. has been named Calvin for us. Okay. Uh, they're all named after Bob's Burgers characters, um, and that's Calvin. Um, mm -hmm. He's actually a really sweet rooster. You've got a swing in there. We Look do at have that. A swing. Do they actually use it? I haven't seen them use it. Okay. I hope one day. <laughs> I, yes, I bought them toys and stuff. I... When we first got the chickens, Wendy desperately wanted them to try and play this little musical bell instrument with their beaks. Mm -hmm. We put it in their form. They never even did anything with it. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't know if they use the swing, um, but I have it for them. Um, they enjoy their little mealworm things um, and all the vegetables. Yep, I believe that would be the Grub Terra that fortunately is sponsoring my. Well, they're not sponsoring my ch channel, but I'm a affiliate with their their program. Hi. Hello, chickens. Everybody's hanging out. Yep, they like digging little dust holes. Mm-hmm. They've got, they have a good one going here. And then they have a couple inside that they were making. Especially when it was warm out. Yeah. Oh, you planted some, uh, some flowers in here. Yeah, so a bunch of them died while we were out of town. <laughs> yep. We were out of town when it was, like, right after the, like, well, it was when it was really warm here. It was like 100. Um, and so they died. Marigolds. Um, yeah. My two... Those ones are still going. I have more seeds, so I'm going to plant new ones. Um, marigolds are supposed to help keep the bugs away. That's what Wendy, uh, Wendy and, said. Yeah. And also, if they eat the marigolds, apparently it's supposed to make their yolks That's more true, yellow. too. Yeah, you can um, cut a, deadhead them and throw them in there for them. So... Um, I think Louise is in here. That's the little, like, small. Oh, it's good to see the compost is in progress. <laughs> Look at that. After my own heart. Um, Louise has been hanging out. I still am not a huge fan of chickens. I go in. Yeah, you don't want them to be flapping around you. I don't. That's what I, um, that's what I remember. Yeah, Louise is in there. She's the little one. 
Um, lots of beautiful eggs still. Yep. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a food container for them. Some little mm -hmm. snacks. Those are their, their worms and there's oyster shell mixed in. Yep, that's good for them. So, I think the food we have for them right now has oyster shell in it too. Yep. Um, yeah. Now you've got a waterer out here. Do you let them free range? No. Uh, that was, we had two in there, um, so when we are because we were out of town for a while. Twice as long, sure. And then, so that way, because uh, my sister was coming to check on them, and then that way if she couldn't make it out here, yeah. we didn't have to worry. Yep. Um, if it was a little bit longer. But they did not like this one, where it was, they would not drink out of it. Like, really? even if the other one went empty. Like they, they, were, they preferred one. <laughs> they were like, okay. not Okay, okay. So, um, we just pulled it out so we can clean it, and then I think... It's because it wasn't up on center box, is my guess. Hmm. They just didn't like it. They wouldn't use it. So we have, yeah. I have talked about like netting the top of this and letting them free range in here. Wow. Okay. Like making a little tunnel. I don't think that's going to happen. That was, it was an idea. Yeah. I wanted to run down to the creek real quick oh, and yeah. just check out the, uh, the stump, no, stump, the tree stump nurse log trees. Oh. Uh, I know last year the ferns had exploded. Yeah, the ferns love it down there. Crazy. It's a, it's a dry time of year right now, but you know in the spring. Oh man, they, they just were really everywhere. flourish. Uh, we took the dogs down a couple times, let them go run around. They loved mm -hmm. it. Um, Any major trees come down since uh, you've owned the place? I think so. I don't remember. I mean, that looks like a fresh split. That might have happened. Yep, the other day. that is very recent, actually. <laughs> I, don't I know. wonder we where the some... rest of it is. It's probably right down I mean... there. I am very happy to say that the tree stump nurse log trees look like they're doing just fine. Things are a little overgrown out here, but. Uh, it all looks good. That's the top of the tree that we were talking about, and it fell right across the creek there. I'm very happy to say that this tree is thriving, and this tree right here is doing and this tree right here is doing pretty well too. So, all of those experimental stump nurse log trees are going strong. Running out of daylight here, so I'm kind of running around. Hello, it's okay. Sorry, we've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> Hello. Kind of had an eventful few. Yes. Girl. Good dog. This is Rizzo. Rizzo. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good dog. Thank you very much to Kendall for showing me around the yard and garden. And Beth, who was only glimpsed in that last part of the video, she got home just before dark. Well, we spent, the three of us, hours talking inside the house. It was really good to reconnect with them and the old place. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this break from the moon with me.